as a continuance of our pharmaceutical calculation lectures we will today study the Ellicott method used for weighing smaller quantities of huh? drugs what is this Ellicott method and what are the smaller quantities of a drug to be weighed on a prescription balance in this video lecture we will uh, discuss these things in detail this method is used for the measurement of uh, solid and liquids mainly we have a formula with us for the smallest quantity to be measured on a prescription balance it is smallest quantity to be measured is equal to is r multiplied by 100 divided by acceptable limit where is this SR is equal to uh, our SR mean sensitivity ratio the sensitivity uh, ratio usually for prescription balance is uh, 6 milligram but this is given for each specific balance the acceptable uh, limit uh, is usually plus minus 5 percent plus minus 5 percent mean that uh, 95 to 10 5 percent this is the acceptable limit for weighing on a prescription balance now we have a question with us huh? let a prescription balance Has a sensitivity ratio of six milligram. How would you weigh ten milligram of a drug? with an accuracy of plus minus 5 percent using a suitable diluent now this is the total data which is given to us that a prescription balance it is a, has a sensitivity ratio of 6 milligram and uh, we have accuracy permissible limits with us of plus minus 5 percent now what is the minimum or smallest quantity to be measured on this prescription balance now we find here because this 10 milligram to to weigh this 10 milligram of uh, drug this is impossible on any prescription balance existing in the world so we will use suitable diluent 
we will add this suitable dolvent to the drug and this 10 milligram of the drug will be carried in the suitable dilvent and the mi minimum quantity of the suitable dilvent. Now we will first find that what is the smallest quantity. which can be measured on this prescription balance having a sensitivity ratio and acceptable limit given to us. The smallest quantity will be equal to sensitivity ratio is a 6 milligram. Again I will say that we are doing or we are calculating all these calculation because 10 milligram of this drug cannot be measured on any prescription balance so we will dilute this 10 milligram with the suitable dial went on to such a quantity to so such a minimum quantity which can be measured on this prescription which can be weighed on this prescription balance so for this we are doing all these calculations 6 multiplied by 100 divided by acceptable limit is 5 so 120 milligram is the smallest quantity which can be measured on any prescription on prescription on this prescription balance which has a sensitivity ratio of 6 milligram and we have a accuracy limit of plus minus 5 percent so 120 milligram of uh, this drug can be weighed on this prescription balance so we will take this 120 milligram of uh, drug 120 milligram is the least weighable quantity this is the least weighable quantity for our balance so we will weigh 120 milligram of this truck but we are required to dispense 10 milligram to the patient so we will dilute this 120 milligram to such a ratio that a specific quantity of this dilution must kill 10 milligram for this purpose we will do some other calculation so dilute 120 milligram of drug in a suitable dilvent that will provide ten milligram of drug in a the least weighable quantity one twenty milligram of a dilution. This means that uh, this one twenty milligram of total drug will be diluted with this uh, suitable dilution to such an extent uh, that uh, when we dispense 120 milligram of final dilution it should contain 10 milligram of the drug because this 120 milligram is the least weighable quantity so we must dilute this 120 milligram of drug to 
such a dilution extent that the final dilution with us must contain 10 milligram and the least weighable quantity of the balance which is 120 milligram so we will find this the amount of uh, dilution to be used can be determined through proportion amount or quantity of dilution to be added to 120 milligram of uh, drug can be determined by or through proportion it's very very simple how we can say that uh, 10 milligram of drug must be present in a the least weighable quantity of the balance which is 120 milligram of a final dilution but uh, we cannot weigh this one, uh, 10 milligram of drug huh? so we will weigh 120 milligram of drug too 120 milligram of huh? drug so how many gram of final dilution will be required for this 120 milligram of drug or 20 milligram of uh, drug will be carried in how many milligram of a final dilution as we see the here is 10 milligram here is 120 milligram the milligram of drug are increasing so the uh, quantity of diluent needed for 120 milligram will be more so the quantity of diluent it means it is also is increasing so we will write it uh, in such a way this side will be written at the top 10 divided by 120 is equal to 120 divided by x cross multiply both x is uh, 10x is equal to 120 multiplied by 120 so 10x is equal to divide both side by 10 120 multiplied by 120 divide by 10 x will be equal to 1440 grams milligrams sorry so this 120 milligram of drug should be diluted to 140 milligram uh, so a diluent uh, to be added huh? is equal to the final dilution weight minus this uh, active quantity 120 1320 milligram so this must be this much quantity of the diluent huh? this must be added to 120 milligram to produce for 40 milligram a final dilution and when we will weigh 120 milligram from this uh, for 40 milligram total dil um, dilution powder this will carry 10 milligram 
active drug which is desired so in this prescription we will dispense 120 milligram of the final dilution from this 440 milligram we will weigh 120 milligram on our prescription balance because our prescription balance can weigh this much quantity and this dilution will contain 10 milligram of active drug thanks for watching